CRG just launched the new RSI launcher 2.0.0 for the Wave 1 testers right now. And um, we're going to go through the patch notes for this one. It says here today we're excited to share the RSI launcher 2.0 with Wave 1 PTU testers. Our work is not finished, but we wanted to put the new launcher in your hands as early as possible to get the feedback and make sure the installation process is robust. We're working on achieving feature parity with launcher 1.6.10 and then moving forward to new features. The currently available features include sign in, select game channel, install game, update game, verify game, launch game, avatar. I would assume will be your actual player character's image um, or if you have two if you have an alt account maybe you can switch between your alt account in the same launcher that would be interesting um, change library folder error handling version 2 RSI status information so that will give you the RSI um, environment the live environment and PT environment status information all through the browser so you don't have to go to a separate website cards i'm not sure what that is and download settings cancel download download queue and swipe animation it says here that's interesting it says please try these features and let us know what you think your feedback is crucial in helping us make the launcher the best it can be it says we're now opening a new issue console dedicated to the rsi launcher so you can file your bug whatever bugs you find through there as well you can find that in the description of the actual link to the patch notes here but they also have a caveat here please do not launch launcher 1.6.10 at the same time as launcher 2.0.0 it could cause some electron store conflicts the updates in this one it says assessing the eptu channels should no longer generate a 19,000 error RSI status page info now accessible from the launcher UI cards have been added to, to access information related to the following topics community new citizen com links and patch notes you can access the download settings manage your download speed and concurrent download they've updated the data patcher in order to fix these types of issues fatal errors main thread considered to be a deadlock after two timeouts cannot open the data.p4k file and um, fail to verify file they also have a few fixes with the data patcher not free in memory enable close to fix toggle is fixed error 3001 retry button is fixed launcher failed to disable launcher button after launch queue downloads do not begin and launcher stuck on game is running but game is not running have also been fixed they also have a few known issues which i'm not going to go through here they also do include some shortcuts pertaining to the new rsi launcher just to let y'all know my organization phase one industries has now recruited new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below make sure to leave a like subscribe i'll see you on the next video